everyone. Welcome back to another haul video. Um, I wanted to tell you a few things quick. As uh, soon as I get a case for my new phone, which my husband got me for my birthday, I will start uh, trying to get some more dumpster footage. But without a case on a new phone, I'm not going to risk it. And uh, I haven't been going too many places because my truck is currently in pieces in my garage. Something in my rear end is messed up. And my husband took it apart, didn't see anything. So uh, next step is tomorrow uh, I have an appointment to get my truck in to be worked on. So hopefully that'll be fixed soon and I can hit some more dumpsters and find lots more goodies. So for now, I've been using my father-in-law's truck to run around and check a few places. Uh, he's staying with us right now. He lives in Arkansas, but he comes and uh, visits for a couple weeks to visit the grandkids and whatnot. And uh, he has a couple of doctors that he sees here, so he has a doctor appointment he's actually at right now. And uh, so I ran and I uh, checked the DG this morning, and I got some goodies, and I am going to show you guys. So... Again, welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for being here. And I hope you like the video. So I will get right into it. I will show you the things I found at the DG this morning. So there was actually a uh, grab bag in the DG dumpster that I never find anything at. Um, I, I have been finding some things there. Um, I'm not sure the reason why I am all of a sudden finding things. I don't know if Maybe because the donation centers are just starting to open back up or or what the deal is. I know that I was in that store a couple weeks ago and I seen the uh, district manager in there. So maybe something with that or new employees. I know I found a couple of penny items in that store recently too, which I never find that either. And I know that was because of the new employees. The manager was my cashier and she was pretty upset that they didn't do their job. So, uh, but I'll get right into it. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk already. So first of all, there was all these uh, butterscotch candies. The bags were in here, they were open, and they had put it in this bag for me, so I will use those. And then there was this little nail kit. Uh, there was a, I had a box for it. I must have thrown it away already. But it had a bunch of other stuff that was supposed to be in it, but all that was left in here was this nail polish and these little nail stickers. So I will give those to my nieces. They're pretty cute little nail stickers and then I pulled this one off and all these little things stuck all over me <laughs> so but I got most of them back on there and then there was oh that's at a different store but uh this big leaf chew which is one of my favorite can or er, gum I love gum and there was some of these airheads there was a bag of candy in there that ripped as soon as I grabbed it but it was mostly like the sugar-free white chocolate Reese's and I don't like those anyway, so I left it in there, and it's been, even though I live in Michigan, it's been close to 90 every day, so it was a hot one, but I got some stuff, but all that chocolate was probably melted, and there was two of these Energizer batteries, I'm not sure if this is the size for my uh, key fob for my car, I'm going to check and see, because I think my battery is starting to die in it as well, and there was a, a hair comb, in there a little hair pick there was a roll of aluminum foil looks like it been open partially used maybe but it's a full roll still so i'll just rip off what's crinkled up there and use it um i was using my aluminum foil yesterday for the halloween things i showed you in my last video so i can use that for uh, my halloween projects and not have to worry about any contamination and there was this renews it Scent swirls, pineapple. Looks like maybe it's a little broken right there. But that just helps get the smell out more. <laughs> and there were two more of these car air fresheners. Which I found a bunch of those recently, you guys seen. There was a scrubber thing for your dishes in there, brand new. I'm thinking uh, they're about to do a clearance sale. Where it's 50% off of the already marked clearance price. So they're probably trying to clean out their clearance sections. But there was this, uh, what is this? Cooling lubricant eye drops. Wakes up the eyes. So that was in there. 
There's a mascara, which I'm pretty sure this Believe Beauty, maybe it's not this brand, but there was one of them that had pennied out. Um, and then there was this thing of goldfish, which is uh, the back side. Says they expired on the May 17th. It's now uh, June 9th, I think. June 10th, maybe. Um, so I'll have my kids check those and see. These were in there, but these expired in August, or Best Buy, August of 2019. So I'll try them, see if they're any good. If not, we can just toss them back in the garbage. No big deal. And there was a whole bunch of these headache relief cap caplets, I guess. And these are good until July of 2021. So I got uh, six of those plus another big bottle. This probably has the same date on it. And there was a scuff cover. Sorry about all the glares. I'm in the house. It's way too hot to be doing this outside today. But a scuff cover for black shoes. A pack of underwear. These are size 8. They're little hipster underwears. And uh, this flower pot was in there. There's nothing. It's not even... Oh, okay. It's broken right there, but you can't even tell. And this bag of cat food was in there. Looked like they accidentally cut the back a little, but the bag was still pretty much full. And my sister... Uh, recently took in the stray cat in her neighborhood, so I will give her that for her cat. And uh, the last thing that was in there was uh, this coffee pot, which I will show you. It's in there. It looks brand new, so I'll try it out and see, and if I um, donate that, I just bought my sister the same exact coffee pot for Christmas, because hers broke, her son broke hers, uh, he shattered her carafe, and they had these on sale for $5 at Christmas time, so I grabbed her one of those and she loves it. So. Uh, I will show you the other GG. I did find a few things in there, not much, uh, but there was a whole box of these uh, foam plate. Uh, these are like to-go things, and there was a pack of silverware. There was only one pack of the silverware in there, but there was bowls and then these uh, plates, which... You can see the bag is a little nasty on that one. I'll just take it out of the bag and put it in one of those freezer bags I found. But there was this whole box. These are all the bowls. These are more to-go things, and those are more of the plates. And it just says overstock foam trays, dollar deals. So that was a good find with uh, barbecue season is here upon us. Oops, sorry. My dog hears things and thinks there's people here all the time. And there's never anybody there. <laughs> So I went to uh, B.L. and there was this Nerf gun type thing in there. There was no Nerf bullets, but my kids have plenty of those. And then the only other thing I found in there was uh, this cup holder for a chair. You can see it's supposed to slide on a, a chair, which I'm pretty sure my sister has one of those chairs. So I can give it to her or hold on to it. Maybe they'll throw the chair out later. <laughs> and then... Uh, Oh, and there was this bag of bird food. You can see the top here was ripped. Uh, but I was lucky that I could save it from being spilled all in the dumpster. Uh, I have lots and lots of birds here. I have uh, five acres. So we get a lot of wildlife. Uh, coons, coyotes, squirrels, birds, uh, turkeys, you name it, we get it. Uh, my neighbor actually hunts my property for deer and turkeys and anything, so uh, we're not hunters, so we just let him do it as long as he lets us know he's back there so my kids don't go back there. And then I went to uh, the Sally's near me, which I, the same, I never really find anything that last uh, haul from that beauty store uh, was from the other town. So, But there was this Tangle Tamer brush, it looks like. Uh, there was some shampoo or something in the box that was spilled. 
and there were some processing caps in there. 30 caps, there was one of the things that was missing, so there's probably 20 caps in there. And there was uh, this hair dryer parts in there, and the box for the hair dryer and some sort of straightener wand was in there, but neither one of those were in the dumpster, so I don't, I never find any, I rarely find anything in that dumpster to begin with, and it's never any type of hair tools. But then the last thing I found there was this neutralizing shampoo and conditioner. Um, I guess that's, you're supposed to use it after you put a relaxer on your hair. So I'll see what I can do with that. And then I did go to the fabric store last night. It was Tuesday night, the night they normally throw everything out. It looked like somebody had beat me there, uh, or maybe they threw it out early earlier than normal. Uh, there was a huge microwave down in there. It had been there all week. It was in a box like they had replaced theirs and somebody had grabbed that out of there. So I don't know if they were just going for that or if they went ahead and grabbed some other things. But uh, when I pulled up to the dumpster, I thought it was weird. There was a roll of uh, bubble wrap and a box sitting outside the dumpster on the ground. And in that box was three of these. One of them was shattered in pieces in the box and these two were perfectly fine. And they were $20 a piece, which um, I think all this stuff is 70% off right now for their uh, spring clearance. It might be more than that. I haven't been in the store. But they're really pretty yellow color. I like them. And there was also uh, this set of lights. Oh, that was bright on the camera. But they're little lemons. And that was $20 as well. You can see they like to spray paint at this one. So luckily, a lot of the time it's just on the outside of the package, which is no big deal. But that was my haul. And like I said, as soon as I get a case for my phone, which I have been trying to work on, it's hard to find a case for a phone that just came out. It just came out on, uh, let's see, last Tuesday, I think it was. And uh, the phone store didn't have any cases to go to it. So I went to Walmart and they didn't have any so I'm trying to find one or order one or something so that I can get in those dumpsters and show you guys. I know you want to see that footage. And uh, I'll get more videos out. And hopefully my truck will get fixed tomorrow. And I can... Uh, sorry, don't mind that background noise. My son's going crazy. And <laughs> uh, find some more goodies. Uh, head to them. Go to towns and find some furniture or whatnot. See what all is out there. But I come on and I show you guys what I found, all sorts of goodies. I'm starting a little pantry downstairs of my own. And every time I have somebody come over, I take them down there and I say, do you guys need any of this stuff? And usually everybody leaves with at least one grocery bag full of stuff that they, that they need or they want. So I'm pretty happy that I'm able to give back what I can. And uh, so, yeah, that's my haul. And thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked it, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Thank you to all my subscribers I already have. I appreciate it. And uh, share my video if you can, please, and help me get more subscribers. I'm hoping once I get to 500 subscribers, I will try to do a um, giveaway, a mystery box giveaway. So if you can do that for me, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.